Yes, the question addressed in this paper is why economic and social policies of the new, of the, say, elected governments, governments elected after the Arab Spring in Tunisia and in Egypt, why the economic and social policies pursued by these governments do not differ very much from those pursued by the predecessors, by the authoritarian predecessors. So um, there are many possible answers. The one is just that there are international constraints that prevent governments from doing anything else that they did in the past. There is another possibility that simply the political turmoil, the political situation in the two countries didn't allow them uh, to formulate other policies. But there is also the idea uh, that possibly the constituencies behind these governments, those who elected these governments, and especially the people who were prominent in these governments uh, under the, I'm talking about the Morsi administration in Egypt, and I'm talking about uh, the largely uh, Anahta dominated government in, in Tunisia, that in fact uh, the constituencies uh, behind these uh, governments were not that much interested in change and uh, that they were or that they hail from sociological backgrounds that are very similar to those of the predecessors. Uh, this has various implications of course, it has implications, uh, two possible implications. The one is that in fact the entire uprisings uh, in uh, 2010 and 2011 were perhaps not that much about economic and social issues as it has often been portrayed. That's the one conclusion we can um, think about. The other conclusion is, in a sense, the opposite, uh, that maybe these uprisings were about economic and social issues, that the governments that were elected after the uprisings did not take these issues very seriously or managed to marginalize those people who were concerned about economic and social issues and that these issues may come back with a vengeance. Now, uh, I haven't uh, settled on the answer yet. Uh, we'll do this a little later perhaps, but I think the question is open, the jury is out, but in both cases I think the implications will be rather interesting.